Welcome everyone to version 1.1 of the YouTube plugin for the PlayStation 3 bookmarklet. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the bookmarklet, um, what it primarily does is um, modify the YouTube pages so they work great in the PlayStation 3 internet browser. Um, so if you've tried to use the, um, the subscription pages in the past couple of months, um, you wouldn't have got very far because uh, most of the links um, uh, don't work. Uh, and to show you that, if I turn on the, the browser's debug feature, uh, I'll include a link in the description for that. Um, um, if you try clicking any of the, uh, the buttons, um, you just get um, JavaScript errors at the moment, including for specific subscriptions. Um, and you can't close the, the recommended channels um, uh, section there either. Um, okay, so let's turn off the uh, debug feature again and run the uh, bookmarklet. Um, and like before, you once you've set up the bookmarklet, you just select it from your bookmarks list. Um, and there's some interesting things going on there on the, the new splash page, which I'll describe later in the video. Um, so uh, now the uh, the indicators are added, added automatically on the subscription pages, um, as well as the, uh, the search uh, pages um, and charts. Um, uh, but just for the the videos that uh, currently appear on screen. Um, so let's now try closing the uh, recommended channels section. Uh, you need to give that a couple seconds to uh, take effect like so um, and you can see now it's adding the uh, the indicators for the the extra videos that now appear uh, and let's actually scroll the page uh, so it adds a few more um, and in fact um, so the, um, uh, the you can start using the page as quickly as possible I only post process the first 15 uh, videos uh, on each of the subscription pages um, and to show that, if I now scroll down a bit further, you can see um, it's uh, updated those uh, those videos there. Let's go down a bit further, and you can see so it's only updating those um, uh, when you scroll down. Um, okay, now um, as before, of course, you can load a um, an individual video by clicking the thumbnail all the uh, text links so let's uh, try that and um, by default um, it selects Pierce YouTube which um, allows you to watch the video in uh, roughly DVD quality you know 480p uh, when available so let's allow that to load up um, okay and um, but on the subscription pages you can also uh, select a, a few videos to watch um, so let's skip that one as we've already loaded that one uh, let's try these uh, four here um, and then you select the uh, watch queue from the add to menu like so and you can see it's added those four to the queue um, and then you can select um, the load videos on PS3 YouTube from the menu and that will load the the first video in the list uh, straight away um, as you can see so let's come straight back press L2 um, and then you could uh, jump to a specific video if you wanted to um, or you could um, engage the autoplay feature so let's uh, click that and that again will load the, the next video in the list straight away uh, so let's see that Donald Trump there um, okay let's go back and then when you return to the YouTube window you need to press cursor left or right to uh, trigger the autoplay you can see it's uh, flashing there to indicate it's going to load the uh, the next video and let's just see that's uh, loaded let's immediately return to um, and again let's press cursor left once more and you can see that's now going to load the, the last video and let's watch that and um, I've made a small change here when it now gets to the end of the list I automatically turn off autoplay as 99% um, of the time you're not going to want to watch the, the first video again um, okay let's uh, let's empty the uh, uh, the 
queue here. Uh, clear all videos. Yep. Um, and let's have a very brief look at the uh, one of the other um, subscription uh, style pages, which is the list view. You've also got the expanded view, which is uh, fairly similar. So let's try the the list view. second to load up. Um, so yes, uh, just processing the first 15 is, um, uh, is actually essential for the uh, for specific subscriptions because um, they show up to a hundred uh, videos per page so if you can imagine um, if the book market processed all of those in one go you, you'd be sitting there forever. Um, so let's allow this to finish. And for this page, um, I only add the rating indicator if you uh, display the, the full information for your video by clicking the expander uh, link there to the left hand side. You can see, there you go with the description and everything. Let's try another one. And um, some uh, videos have a, a long description, so you can click the, uh, the more link there. Um, it could do with the uh, the line spacing there. The, uh, YouTube have removed the the line breaks for some reason, it makes it hard to read the description. Okay, um, let's now go to the uh, the charts pages, which have also made some improvements. Uh, select that from uh, the bookmark list there. to load up um, and yes um, YouTube haven't made um, uh, great use of the available space here so they, they put the uh, the chart number above the title and so on um, so it doesn't leave much room for for anything else um, so as you'll see I, I moved the uh, the chart number to the left hand side uh, and that then allows for a multi-line uh, title um, and the uh, rating indicator, of course. Um, let's watch that. So there you go, it's adding those. Again, just for the, the on-screen uh, videos. So if I scroll down, you can see it adds another one there. Okay. Um, and yes, the, the rating indicators are quite interesting. You know, if, uh, let's go to music. Um, uh, because sometimes you get a, a strong uh, negative reaction, you know, for a video. Um, so as you'll see on the, the music videos. Um, uh, okay, let's rerun the bookmarklet. And um, you should find um, it's it's more reliable, you know. Sometimes you, it, when you select bookmarklet, it won't do anything. And, um, uh, you know, after a few seconds, and then you have to refresh the page. But... Um, you should find generally it is a bit more uh, reliable. Um, so there you go. Some of these videos have uh, had some quite a bit of negative feedback. That one said roughly um, two thirds of thumbs up, uh, thumb downs rather, and um, a third only a third thumbs ups. Um, okay, now um, another small change, but important change I've made here is um, um, I've added a short delay for the menu, so then you can cursor over them without actually displaying them. Uh, because especially on the charts pages, it was quite easy to accidentally uh, end up stuck in the, the menu. So you see, if, we, if you, the cursor stays on the menu, um, it then uh, displays this. Uh, okay. Um, so now let's explore the, uh, the splash page uh, features. So let's go to film and animation, why not? Because um, I've added some uh, some interesting statistics, um, so let's rerun the bookmark there again, and um, I'm going to click the close splash link there, which unchecks the checkbox, which is by default on. Uh, so normally the splash would would close, but um, by unchecking, it, of course, it's going to remain open, so you can then explore the statistics. Um, and the default page shown there is the uh, the most active or top users uh, for the past hour, um, and you can then 
look at other time periods, uh, so past 24 hours, um, past 30 days. Uh, of course, it's just uh, me at the moment. Um, and you have the choice to um, either use the, you know, when you're logged in uh, to YouTube, to uh, use the bookmarklet anonymously, or um, you can go public. Uh, so let's try that. If I click the go public uh, link, it then asks a confirmation. Um, so as well as uh, revealing your uh, YouTube usernames um, on the in the statistics, um, it also allows you to recommend uh, outstanding videos. Uh, so let's click the yes. Um, and uh, one uh, point on that, um, the statistics are, are only updated every 60 seconds. So if you are now to immediately um, uh, use the bookmark again, uh, you may well still see your um, the anonymous um, your anonymous username. Uh, so uh, as I say, you know, after 60 seconds, you should see that uh, um, your um, actual username starts appearing. Um, I update the, uh, the currently loaded stats there so you can see what it will look like. Um, so let's explore some of the other tabs here. So you've got your top channels, which is the you know the most popular channels. Um, with the in brackets, it's showing there the uh, the video views uh, for top users. That's the um, the total number of um, plugin uses plus plus video views. Uh, so let's go back to channels there. So you can see the Young Turks, which is uh, American politics. Uh, I'm quite interested in, um, and a couple John Four Lakers and Soldier Knows Best technology uh, channels that I quite often check out. Now for top videos, I do th something a bit special. If we click that, um, I present a um, uh, a video wall. Uh, let's zoom in. Um, so these are the the most popular videos. With the uh, the video in the top left corner is the the one that's had the the most views for the uh, the time period selected. So I've got 30 days selected there at the moment. Um, and if you cursor off of the uh, the tab, that um, stops the animation. Um, and then if you actually position the cursor on a on a video, it then gives you the the information, um, including the the total number of views via the the bookmarklet. Um, let's try another one here. So for the uh, the outstanding uh, tab, um, that is uh, videos that are recommended by uh, other bookmarklet users. Um, with the the number in brackets is the uh, the total number of um, uh, videos. Um, so the way you can use that is um, if you're um, using the bookmarklet um, and you notice the number go up, um, then if you looked at the uh, if you click the hour tab, um, you would find um, uh, the new video would appear uh, for that time period. Um, Whereas you know, if you if you're using it, say the bookmarklet once a day, um, and again, if you notice the number had increased, if you looked at the 24-hour time period, um, you would see the the added videos. Um, and um, yeah, to to recommend the video, um, basically you just watch it as normal, and um, after the the length of the video. Um, you can then re-click the video link and um, there will be an outstanding button um, which you click and then you enter your uh, YouTube username uh, to confirm um, and allow then um, after 60 seconds when the, the statistics are regenerated um, you'll see your recommendation appear in the list um, but um, as I say, that that um, uh, is reserved for you know the very best on YouTube. You know, because most videos on YouTube are are great, but uh, very few are truly outstanding. Um, so um, I hope you like the uh, the new features in 1.1, and uh, yeah, uh, bye for now.